All right, y'all, so we are gonna jump right into it today. I'm just gonna give you guys the SIGs for my Kyrie Irving build. So any small guard, anything under 6'6", you can use these. And then other than that, I'm gonna give you guys a few jumpers. I've used all of these jumpers. I obviously just like one more than the other, so I'm gonna give you my jumper as well as a few others that I've tried and I did like, but I just like this one that I use now better. And other than that, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how I use the SIGs and how I combo them and whatnot, but that's pretty much it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and say all the things that you don't care to say, and then we'll get right into it. A like, a comment, a sub, any of it or none of it, whatever you do or don't want to do is totally fine, but it helps us. It helps the channel grow and I would really appreciate it. Anything you guys need will be linked below. Discord, social media links, all of that. You guys can check it out. We've got Twitch down there as well. Other than that, let's get into it. Okay, so we will circle back to jump shots. First, we're gonna go through the SIGs here. Free throw, I've always used Michael Jordan. Now, if you have a very low free throw, Carmelo Anthony is very good. You can green a lot with low free throws. When I make builds, if I don't invest into my free throw off the rip, I usually go with Carmelo and like I'm talking like 40 free throw and I can still green them and hit them pretty consistently. Not that I would recommend running that on your build, that's just where mine is at before I fully invest into it and level it up or if I'm just trying to get content of it or whatever. But layup style, I'm using Trey Young. Now at 85, we unlock a lot more and we unlock the Kyrie Irving. I said this in the build video, but the Kyrie Irving layup style just doesn't translate into 2K all of the time. Same with DeMar DeRozan. When they're doing the super flashy ones, you know, the under and like that, like the scoops, like sometimes it'll happen when you don't want it to happen. It's not necessarily a good animation in terms of 2K and being able to control it. So I go with the Trey Young. I like the Trey Young a lot better. Um, and all around, it just works better for me. It's still explosive. The floaters are great and I love floaters. And then other than that, it's just a good layup package. Moving on from there, I have no dunk style because we don't have any dunk on this build anyways. Dribble pull up. Now this is one specifically that I want to talk about. I run the Trey Young on my small guards. I do believe you have to be like starter three or whatever it is. But the reason I like this, so when I am looking for a dribble pull up, personally, I'm not looking for a pull up as much as I'm looking for a fader. Now the Kobe on a 6'6", the dribble pull up, it's basically a fader every single time. Whether you're moving fast or slow, whether you get the speed boost or not, you're going to get you're going to get a fade with it, which creates more separation. And just for me, it's just easier to time. Maybe because I run 6'6s six and I've always run, you know, bigger guards, 6'6 six, six to 6'9". Six, I'm just used to that fade and the timing on the fade. But on small guards, there's no good dribble pull up other for me than Trey Young. On Trey Young, you're actually getting a fader. And when we go into the gym, I'll show you guys and you can see it here a little bit. That's more of a pull up that he's doing right there. That's a pull up. That's a pull up. That's a pull up. That's a pull up. Okay. But that is a fader. So when he does that like little fade to it, which he does on this first animation, that one, that is the animation that I'm going for. Now, you'll sometimes get a bad one on these small guard just because if you don't get enough of a speed boost, you're not moving fast enough, I'm still gonna get that bad for me dribble pull up, like a, a more straight up pull up. And I use these a lot when I'm on a fast break or I'm breaking off in the mid range and I'm breaking you know, from left to right or right to left and I'm looking for a fade to continue my motion that I've already like started and continue my separation from my defender. So I like getting this animation that actually makes you fade like that. So I use the Trey Young, I love it, and it's the only one on a small guard that I consistently can get to trigger and use. So Trey Young dribble pull up is what I'm going with and that's why. Spin jumper, to be honest, I just run pro because Koza told me to, but it works well. You guys can see some spin jumpers being used in my last video as well, but I run pro. Hop jumper, I'm running Stephen Curry. Again, we'll talk about a couple of these and I'll actually go into the shooting gym and show you guys, you know, kind of how I combo and how, my, and how I use them. But Stephen Curry hop jumper on the smaller guards is my preferred and it's just nice. If you can figure out how to combo with your dribble moves, it really creates a lot of separation and it's a lot more like a shuffle than it is like just a hop, right? And on 6'6 six, six and 6'9, six, bigger guards, I'm used to running Jimmy Butler hop jumper, which is still great, but it's just a different play style. On the Steph Curry and on the small guards, you can really combo a hop jumper into your combo moves, into your dribbling, it feels like. Whereas like when I'm on a bigger guard or I'm running Jimmy Butler, it's more of like if I'm doing a hop jumper, it's like I'm just hopping and I'm shooting and I'm not really breaking anyone off with it other than the fact that I'm like, jumping back, but with the hop jumper, the Stephen Curry one, it's hard to explain, but I'll show you guys when we get in there, but you're creating a lot more separation and it's, I don't know, it's just a lot more icy. It's a lot more like 
you're a small guard. You're moving around. You're, you're shifty. It's a lot more shifty. Post fade, I'm going Kobe. I just run that on all my builds. I'm not really posting up on this build too much, but I'm throwing on Kobe. I also always put on Nikola Jokic for post hook, but I've never done a post hook in any 2K ever. Post hop shot, again, I'm going Kobe. I just like his animations on those. And for motion style, for me, I'm going with Elite. A lot of people use Caruso. I do not like Caruso. I love Caruso as a player, but I do not like his motion style. It just feels clunky. Um, on all my, even on my six sixes on anything, this Caruso just feels clunky to me. I think it turns around and it gets like certain animations that are fast, but like when you're just running up the court, it just feels so clunky and clunky and slow. And I just, I don't like it. So I run elite and I, I like it on this and I feel good and, and it works for me. So that's what I run. Pass style, I'm running LeBron James, but we could go LaMelo. I've never used LaMelo personally. We could go Jokic or Sabonis. I typically run Sabonis if I don't have any passing. And if I do have higher passing, then I'm going with LeBron James or I'm going with Tyrese Holly Berry. So it's totally up to you guys, but I've never had an issue with LeBron and he's one of the best passers ever. So. Dribble style, we're obviously going with the Kyrie Irving, and that's just like that's the whole point of getting the 90 speed with ball on this build so that we can speed boost out of pretty much any dribble move. Kyrie Irving dribble style, in short, basically like if you're on a 6'6 guard and you do a Jamal Murray behind the back, let's say, you have to speed boost out of that in order to get your speed boost. If you're on a smaller guard and you have the Kyrie dribble style, you do a Jamal Murray behind the back, all you do is point your stick in the direction you wanna go and you you speed boost. Now, if you don't know how to speed boost, speed boost takes, you've gotta like, it would be flicking my right stick, right? So if I did Jamal Murray behind the back, I'd flick the right stick down to the left, right? Or whatever direction. And then after that, I would flick my right stick to the left again, and then hold my left stick to the left in order to get a speed boost. Well, on this, you're cutting out that flick, basically. So now I'm just going, like, I'll hit the right stick down, do my dribble move, and then I'll just point the left stick in to the left, and I get a speed boost. So that's why we're running the Kyrie Irving dribble style, and it is very, very beneficial, and it is very, very fun. Now, these are all new, to be honest, y'all. I'll show you guys these, like, and how I am trying to combo them and whatnot. All my SIGs from this point on, like, I've just changed. Actually, from watching a Kevin Cruz video, I have always liked to dribble more realistically, I guess you would say, or <laughs> I'm not good at dribble. Like I can't do the left stick cancel. I can't do any cancel. I can't do any of that. I'm not good at spam dribbling or anything. And I like, I think it's cool. And like, it's a skill set for sure. But I've also just maybe because I can't do it. So maybe it's a skill issue, but I've also just always liked being more, Kevin Cruz calls it like ethical buckets or like, do being more realistic right like just being a little bit more realistic with your dribble moves not none is better than the other that's not what i'm saying it's not like a diss or anything but i just prefer that way so i like doing as minimal as minimal effort as possible is kind of how i go about it right so like how i'm using my regular breakdown combo with my aggressive breakdown combo with my signature size up which i'll show you guys but like rather than me actually doing all these dribble moves myself right like left stick cancels and all these things for me, it's more like a hold right trigger, flip the right stick up, flip the right stick back, let go of right trigger, flip the right stick up. And I'm using these like regular breakdown combos and aggressive breakdown combos to combo together. And like, for instance, like if you look at this regular breakdown combo from Isaiah Thomas, right? All of that movement right there is literally just from flicking your stick up. And that's it, right? So rather than me myself go left, right, left, right with a cancel or whatever it is, I'm literally just standing at the top of the key like this and I flick my right stick up just once, just, just a flick, and he does, it'll do this. This whole sequence is what it'll do. So I like doing, so if I, I'll probably flick my right stick up, he'll do this, and then in the middle of this at whatever point I want, I'll hold right trigger and then flick my right stick back, which will cause a snatch back. So now, it's doing this forward motion and then I combo a snatch back to it to create separation and then add some others or pull the shot depending if you're open. But that's how I like to combo things. It's, it's very minimal and it's more just looking at all of your SIGs and seeing you know how they combo together and how you can use them together. So if I know I can just flick the right stick up and he does that. And then I flick the right stick back and he does a snatch back. And then I do a James Harden combo move by flicking my stick, you know, right, left or left, right, depending. And then he's going to do this. 
right? Which, and then from that point, I can speed boost out of that and continue the motion or do a Jamal Murray and pull or do a spin jumper or whatever, right? But it's very minimal effort for me. And again, maybe it's a skill issue. It's because I'm not very good at dribbling. So I'm relying on the game to kind of do it and work for me. But I don't see a problem in that and utilizing what the game is giving us and really just to each their own. So I've always preferred it that way. So, I mean, you guys are seeing the signature size up and all my SIGs and whatnot. I just look at these and I look at the ones I like literally by watching the video of them. I'm like, oh, that one looks good. Now I'll try it. So I'll put it on, then I'll go into the gym and then I'll just try it out, you know? And if you don't know, so like a regular breakdown combo is just flicking your stick up, flicking your right stick up. That's it. An aggressive breakdown combo is holding right trigger and flicking your right stick up. Escape moves are going to be holding right trigger and flicking your stick kind of diagonally and up. So if it's in the right hand, you'll flick diagonally up to the left and he'll do the escape move, do the escape move. Combo moves is like a right left or a left right, depending on which uh, hand the ball is in. Uh, so you'll flick your right stick left, right, and then he'll do that. Crossover is a crossover. Behind the back, you're gonna hold, to get the Jamal Murray when you're gonna hold right trigger and you're gonna hit down in whatever direction. So if the ball's in your right hand, you'll hold right trigger, you'll flick your stick down to the left. So if it's in your left hand, then it's the opposite. You'll hold the right trigger and you'll flick your right stick down to the right, and that's how you get that. So that's really all I'm doing, like in all these moves, and I'll show you guys and it'll make more sense when I, sh when I show it, but I'm literally just flicking the stick, you know, once, to get three to four movements and then flicking the stick or holding the trigger or doing a different, whether it's a regular breakdown into my aggressive breakdown or into my escape move or into my combo move or whatever, I'm flicking my stick like once, basically to get three to four moves out of it. So that's how I like to combo it and that's how I like to play it. And honestly, I'm more of a pass first point anyways. So the, the least amount of dribbling I can do, the better, you know? And if I really have to go crazy, I guess, then it's, I try my best, you know, like I said, I'm not crazy good dribbler. I think I'm, you know, decent at the game. I'm okay, but I'm definitely, dribbling is definitely not my strong suit, but I'm able to play the game a little bit smarter, I guess you would say, and just kind of take advantage of my defender. If they're playing me too high or if they're stepping back and then, you know, just shooting confidently or whatever it is. Okay, so this is what I mean. And this combo actually that I'm gonna do right off the rip, I did not figure out myself. I got these SIGs after watching a Kevin Cruz video. Some of them, most of them I took from him. Some of them I just added in myself. But this movement specifically is one that I saw him do. I think he's gonna do a video on it or a live stream soon, but either way. In order to do this, let's see if I can even do this the first try. Nope. So in order to do this, so that right there is literally just me flicking up on my right stick and then triggering my hop jumper. And that's it. That's two movements of my stick that do all of that movement. So that's how I like to do it. And that's what I mean by that, right? So like if I flick up on my right stick, no trigger, he's gonna do all this movement, right? Now I like to combo that usually with a snatchback, right? So I'll go here and then snatchback and then maybe you shoot it, right? If you're not open, then you don't shoot it. I break that. Another way, you know, you do this, you do this, you snatch back, and then you speed boost, you know, or whatever. But that's how I like to do it, and that's how I do it. So this is literally just me, like, watch. So this is, so let's see if I can show you guys this. This is literally all it takes for me to do all these movements right here. Two movements on my stick, that's it, right? So let me try again. It's literally just two, three movements and I'm doing all that. So I'm either looking for my own shot and trying to break my guy off, or I'm gonna, you know, pass out and do whatever. So it doesn't take much in the way that I dribble at least. Um, and like I said, I do this maybe because of lack of skill, but I mean, every once in a while I'll hold the trigger and every once in a while I won't. So, you know, I'm just doing these and I'm trying to combo them however I can and, and get a shot out of it or get a pass out of it break off my defender or whatever it is, but that's how I like to combo it and that's how I like to do it. So if you look through those, um, all those SIGs that I showed you, those are ones that I like the way that they combo. I like the way they, they work. So like the, this is the James Harden combo moves. I like to do a snatch rack out of that as well. But even just to do that, if the ball's in my right hand for James Harden combo moves, I'm literally just flicking my, if the ball's in my right hand, then I'm gonna flick my stick left, right, right? Cause I'm gonna hit, move the ball to the left and then to the right is what he's doing, so. 
And that's all that that movement right there takes. And then from there, you can do like a step back or, you know, whatever. But this, this is a good move and it usually gets you in front of your defenders. And now you're talking like you get some movement. Okay, I'm moving left. I'm snatching back right. I'm moving back to the left. That's three, that's four flicks essentially of my right stick and that's it. So one, two, snatch back, three, behind the back, four. And that's it. And maybe you get open off of that and maybe you don't. And that's not necessarily a combo that I use per se, but I'm just trying to show you like, that's literally all that I'm doing. I'm holding right trigger, flick up on the stick. He's doing this, boom, do it again, boom. That's four, that's four flicks of my stick and he's doing all of that. So that's how I like to use moves. I could probably give you guys a better video in terms of breaking it down more, but to be honest, I. I actually don't think I can give you a better video because like I said, I am I experiment with it as well. I just changed into all of these SIGs yesterday and even then I'm not sure that I love the way that all of these combo, but literally just look at the SIGs in your animations and just try to see what you think might combo well. You know, it's really like having stuff that does like a little between the legs, like DeMar DeRozan, which I put a short up on YouTube of DeMar DeRozan uh, aggressive breakdown combo. But that's one I really like as well. And it's just a simple, like if I'm standing there and I, let's say you do a Jamal Murray behind the back and then you hold right trigger and flick up on the stick, then he'll do it a simple little like tween tween. And it's just stopping on a dime, kind of doing a move and then, you know, seeing what you have and then going from there, speed boost out of it, shoot, pass, do a step back, whatever it is. but. That's how I like to combo them, and that's how I like to use them. Um, probably not much help, but the main point of this video, I'm gonna get into the jumpers for you guys and show you these. Okay, so starting out with my jumper, which as you guys can see, it is named Waff Patty. Now that's because I did not come up with this jumper myself. I actually got it from Wafix or Wafix. I've actually never said his name out loud. I haven't had to, but I talked to him a lot in Twitter or XDM, whatever you wanna call it. I'll put his info up right here, but I got this from him now. This is the first time I've run a Patty Mills jumper that I've actually liked and thought was good. Typically, I hate Patty Mills base. I don't think it is good at all. Now he plays for the Heat and I'm a Heat fan. So when he came to the Heat, I tried his jumper for the second time and I tried to love it. I still hated it. And then I tried his jumper for a third time. I tried to love it. I still hated it. And Waffle was just like, here, this is how I'm running it right now. I didn't like it at first either, but just give it a minute. So I gave it, a, I had one night where I literally was like one for 12, like, like four for 16, like a horrible night of shooting. And I got on the next day and I was like, I'm just gonna try and have a better day and see how I feel. And I haven't changed a jumper since and I've kept it and I do enjoy it and I do like it. It is the jumper that I used in my video that I just showed you guys of this build, but it is Patty Mills base, Oscar Robertson, Oscar Robertson with a 50-50 obviously blend. And it's great. I'm not totally sold that like Patty Mills is the craziest, most glitchiest jumper in the game. It's fast. That is a fact. It's a fast jumper. But I think everyone honestly just kind of nerds out and they just talk about it because they talk about it. You know, it's like everyone also says T-Mac is the best, but the best shooter that I know in the game, which is Chef, my shooting guard, he runs Ben Shepard. Like ultimately, and I say this with builds too, like what works best for you is what's going to be the best. It's going to be the best jumper. It's going to be the best whatever it is, build, whatever it is, it's gonna be the best for you if you make it in a way that makes sense for you. You know, there's no point in making a meta if like having, let's say 92 post control, you never use post control and you never plan to use post control. There's no point of having it, you know, like adjust things and make them work for you. But whatever, that being said, I am running this jumper and I do enjoy it and I do like it and I'm green with it. But I was also green with my other jumper that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm just liking this one right now. But to be honest, if I go through shooting slumps, which happens, um, I'll stay in it for a while and I'll stay in the same jumper. And then like, so for instance, Patty's very fast. Any of my other jumpers are gonna be a little bit slower. So for some reason, I'm just not hitting on this. I'll switch to a slower jumper or an opposite speed, whether it's slower or faster jumper. And then I'll come back to my original jumper and I kind of like, I just need that frame of reference again of like, oh, okay, this is way too slow. And then I go back to the fast one and I'm like, oh yeah, this is what I like. Or vice versa, depending on, you know, the jumper or the build that I'm on. But this is the jumper that I'm using. I do like it. It is the one that I used in the last video. So I'm sure I showed you guys, you know, a few clips of shooting with it. But to be honest, like you could use any jumper you want. If you know the timing and you have it down, then you have it down. I, for instance, like never shoot off of shot cue or visual cue at all. I just go off of the button, so to speak. You feel it in the button is what I say. I don't know, really know how to explain it, but a lot of people will preach like, 
oh, in this 2K, you, you have to watch the shot release or you have to shoot on this. I shoot at set point and I never look at my actual release. I just do it by the timing that I know, like in the button, I guess. So again, that's just one of those things where like, do what makes sense for you and it, what's gonna work best for you is like, what works best for you, you know? And don't let what everyone else is saying kind of force you to try something that just doesn't really make sense to you. So this was my favorite jumper before. And if you are coming from a 6'6 guard, I highly recommend running this jumper because for me at least, Allen Iverson on a small guard feels as close as a resemblance to a T-Mac on, on like a 6'6". So I run T-Mac, so if you run T-Mac and you really like T-Mac, it was an easy transition for me and it took me a while to find this jumper and figure it out. And I think I just blended this, you know, messing around myself, but I got the Allen Iverson base with the Oscar Robertson and Colin Sexton with the 7822 blend. We've got great grades on this um, and I really do like this build. I like the high release, but again, like if you are used to T-Mac with a very high release and like I like to say kind of has a hitch in the jumper where like you get up and there's kind of a hitch there before you're releasing it, if that's what you're used to, then try this one out. This was a very, very easy, smooth transition for me going from a bigger guard to a small guard and finding a jumper. Because off the rip before I figured this jumper out, I could not hit a shot for anything. Because I am horrible with Ben Shepard base. I don't even know if you can use it on a small guard anyways. I tried Steph Curry base, I hated it. I tried Trey Young base, I hated it. Different blends, all this stuff. I just could not do it. I literally couldn't hit with anything. And I used all the meta ones that were all over. Just for me, they didn't make sense. The Allen Iverson base, feels great on the small guards. And if you're already used to playing on a bigger guard, this will be an easy transition for you in terms of a jumper. So Allen Iverson base, again, for me at least, it is the closest thing to the feeling of a T-Mac that I could get. And it feels almost identical. So really like this. And I'm pretty sure you get a lot of um, variety in terms of speed. Yeah, so like I blend it at the 78, um, 22 because that release speed when I was coming from my 6'6", that release speed looked about where my release speed was on my other builds, so that's how I tuned it. So tune it however it makes sense for you. But a reason that I like this jumper is because you get so much play and, and, and you still have good grades, but you can make it extremely fast if that's what you want. Like the release speed there is A+, but you can bring it all the way down to A, almost even a little lower. So I like this one a lot just because there's a lot of play in it in terms of being able to tune it and adjust it to what makes sense for you. So if you try it at the 7822, let's say, and you're like, I don't know, it just feels a little too slow. That's okay because you can blend it however you want. You've got a lot of room to play here. Or if you feel like it's too fast, that's okay because you can blend it however you want. You've got a lot of play either way. So I like this jumper a lot because it gives you a lot of variety and how to tune it and make it work best for you. And for the final jumper, I should have some clips in here for you guys for this one. I didn't have any on the Allen Iverson one, but this is what Chef is running on his little like 5'7 guard that he made with like a 98 three ball. And he is super green with it, but Steph Curry based Darius Garland and Trey Young with a 70 30. Release height is D plus. Now to be honest, other than release speed, I do not look much into the whole height, defensive immunity, and timing stability. For instance, Chef is literally on a 5'7 guard in these clips that I'm showing you, hopefully that I'm showing you, and his release height is D+. Plus. Uh, but look at the speed on it, like, and he, but he's so small and that release, that release height is so bad, but he's still greening from deep and breaking off defenders and on a regular basis, so, like, not saying that the release height isn't a D plus, it is, maybe the release height is lower, but how much it actually affects you or makes a difference, I, I just don't know how much I believe in this grade system that, that we have. Um, release speed, yes, I definitely feel a difference, and I don't even necessarily go off of a grade, I just look at where it sits at and where I know I like it, but yeah, this is Chef that he's using, and there might be some play in this one too, so he's got it at 70-30. See, so this one, there's not really any play in terms of speed, but there is play in other areas. So the reason that I like, like I said, the other one is because you were able to tune it and change the speed of it to make it fit better for you. Um, and I think that's the biggest thing. Timing is gonna be the biggest thing with a jumper. Outside of release height and immunity and stability, your, your, your timing stability on this is a B plus, right? But if that release speed is too fast for you, it doesn't really matter, in my opinion at least, right? So. This is what Chef uses, a good jumper, definitely for him. He enjoys it, and he's like the greenest guy I know on the game, you know, and I, I'd say Steph Curry base is probably gonna be a good jumper, but this is what he's using on his little 5'7 guard. 
Stephen Curry, Darius Garland, Trey Young. And other than that, y'all, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this was a quick one. I hope I didn't ramble too much or talk too much. I don't even know if I provided you guys with much information. Maybe all the sigs and animations and dribble stuff was absolutely horrific. I know, because I'm really not that good at that, I know. So it was kind of hard to explain, but at the very least, you guys got three jumpers out of this. They're all legit jumpers. They're all decent jumpers. They're all jumpers I like. Now this isn't a whole like, oh, these are new jumpers that you should use, no. These are just the three that I have used or tried. I liked the Allen Iverson one a ton. Then when I started shooting and I just, I, I kept releasing too early on my small guard. I don't know what it was. I came off of a 6'6", which definitely had a slower jump time, like a release speed. Um, and I got on my small guard and I just kept getting earlies, earlies, earlies. So I went to a patty one or just anyone that was faster. I made a faster jump shot because I was like, okay, well, I'm getting earlies a ton. Maybe I need to switch my jumper because I can't blend this one in a way that I like to make it faster per se, or I have blended it and it just still doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna try something else. So I made the patty one and now I'm hitting with it, but that kind of happens with me. I'll probably start getting some lates randomly, you know, and I try to dial it in. And if I can't, like I said, I'll just switch to a jumper that's slower and then get that frame of reference again and be like, oh, whoa, this is way too slow. I definitely like faster, but sometimes you just need a little refresh on what's wrong and what's right, so to speak, for you. So when I go through those slumps, that's kind of what I do, but I try to last as long as I can on the jumper without changing anything and just see if it comes back, uh, because I do think that changing between jumpers too often is definitely like detrimental. So I would do it as, as little as possible, you know, but if you enter that slump and you just, you know, you keep getting early nonstop, 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 nonstop for nights and nights in a row, then just tune the jumper and make it slower or just switch to a different jumper that you already have or maybe that you saw or whatever that that is slower and just get that frame of reference back, you know? Do your thing, this is the build. The video is already up. I'll link it here at the end as well. But other than that, y'all, I appreciate you guys. I hope this build, I hope this video was some benefit to you in some capacity. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And again, anything you need, it is all linked down below. Discord, Twitch, Instagram, my clothing brand, this shirt and this beanie are for my clothing brand. Not to push it, I don't think many of you guys that are here would really enjoy that side of things. I try to keep them separate, but hey, I might as well mention it because it is linked down below. Other than that, y'all, I'll catch you guys later. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stop streaming on YouTube. I said it on my last video, but I wanna just say it enough that you guys hear it, which is probably where I'll only be streaming now. YouTube just has way too many. They're they're way too serious about like the copyright and all of this stuff. Um, I got, I, I don't wanna get a strike and affect the channel. They already shut me off the last stream I was on. They They like, shut my stream off and they just said hey you know there's copy right here you're not getting a strike for it this is just a warning but we're not going to forget that we warned you and if it happens again you know that's not good so i just don't want to mess with it i don't want to tamper with it i'm gonna let youtube be youtube and when we stream and when we go live i'm gonna do it on twitch so that's linked down below again if you join the discord you don't have to whatever but we talk a lot in there just about builds if you want direct contact to me and i'm not answering dms on x or twitter or whatever it is you can reach out in the discord even if i don't respond other people will and if you're looking for people to run with there are people in the discord you know that you can reach out to say you know what up and you guys can hopefully find a squad and hopefully it can help you guys out in that capacity as well. So other than that, y'all, appreciate it. Thank you so much. A like, a comment, a sub, some of it, none of it, any of it, whatever you do or don't want to do, but it helps us, it helps the channel grow. I say that every time. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support and I'll catch you in the next one.